Hey everybody, HMV here, playing more Factorial, and I'm exactly where I was before, which is in exactly the wrong spot to um, to, to go kill biters. Uh, I am going to set up a stone factory here. Um, not really a oh, stone factory; is probably the wrong way to say it. I'm going to set up a. I'm going to put this up here. There we go. Of course, it's not connected. Sorry, well, I things I should have done off camera before starting. Um, we're going to put this into here and this into here, and then we're going to take these out and put them in a steel chest, which I have none of. And you know what? Let's not put them in a steel chest. Let's put them right in a factory. That's going to make walls. Uh, walls are right here. All it takes is stone brick in a half second. I'm totally doing this so that I don't have to lay more power poles. There we go. Oh, we're being attacked. Looks like whatever it was took care of the biters. It was this guy. He took some damage. He has no bullets. But this guy killed him, so okay. Let's run up and get more bullets out of our bullet factory. And uh, fill up these turrets, and then we're going to go around, I'm gonna, or I'm going to go around, and uh, kill me some biters. And I'm going to do all that off camera. I just wanted you to see the uh, putting, up, uh, putting up the wall factory. By the time I'm done killing all the biters, ideally, I'm going to have um, enough walls to, uh, to put walls around my thing. I'm basically taking this episode off from producing things and uh, fixing the biter problem. So I will, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm coming back from my first expedition out killing biters, and uh, I have uh, upped my bullet production significantly <laughs> because I, uh, I need to in order to, uh, in order to be able to kill biters quickly enough. Um, I've also um, kind of come up with an idea here of how to, um, How to keep the bullets in my thing. I'm going to try it right now. The trick is fill up your bar here, right? Let's get, let's, oops. I don't want them in a wooden chest. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, see, they won't, they just won't do it. If I put them here, now I've got two on my bar. Then I put these here. Now I should be able to put turrets down and keep the bullets in my, in my, Thing. If I hit five and then boom, and then right click this guy, right click this guy, and it's still not working great. But I'm just going to bring as many bullets as I possibly can, uh, which means manually putting bullets here, they just will not go on this bar, no matter how much I want them to. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's boring work. I, I'm just going down, laying turrets blowing up biter bases um so i'll be back in a little bit okay i'm back i uh have done a lot since you left i or since i left uh, it was over a day ago for me um one thing i did was i went around the entire perimeter and cleared out all the biter bases um these guys are getting close to the pollution cloud and these guys look like they're in the pollution cloud but uh i cleared out all of these guys and all the guys down here so we should be good for a little while until really these guys start to get to get going and hopefully by then we'll have our robot network up um i also solved the uh red science problem i watched the last episode and uh i don't, I don't want to make you go through that again so so i i went through and i figured out um the exact ratios and i went to a website here let me show it to you uh, I don't know if you can read this, but it's factorio.rotol, R-O-T-O-L dot M-E. And if you go to there and then you click on the facto ratio tab, which is the far right here, you can uh, do this drop down and pick anything off of here. I've picked advanced circuits. And uh, add, and then you click the add button and it puts it down here and it tells you what you need for everything. And now I fiddled with the numbers and it turns out if you put 90 here and you change all the assembling machines to assembly machine twos, which is what I'm using, um, you get perfect numbers for everything. You get 16 advanced circuit machines, need two electronic circuit machines, which need six iron plates and three copper cable machines, which need copper plates and copper ore. 
two plastic bars, which, you know, th these just come off the belts. And then copper cables, you need two of those. So I know I need five copper cable machines and two electronic circuit machines is basically what I need. But here's my here's my copper cables going into electronic circuits. Is this backwards? I totally did this backwards. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll fix that off camera. It's not that big of a deal. We're we're getting our we're getting our red circuits, which is the important part. And I should be putting these into a box. And I should be putting them into a steel box. Uh, that's not a steel box. There's our steel box. Let's put it right here with this guy. And let's power him with this power pole. Come on, let me put this. There we go. That way we're filling up a box with red circuits. You can never really have too many red circuits. Um, and now that we're making red circuits, though, I think we can make a RoboPort. We can, but we can't make robots, because robots take batteries. We need steel, gear, wheels, and advanced circuits. Once we get 45 advanced circuits, which we now have, all we need is 10 more steel. There we go. I'm going to make my first RoboPort. And then we're gonna we're gonna work on that. So let's let's let that go. Also, we seem to be having trouble with copper. There's always something wrong. There's always something that needs fixed in your factory. Let's see here. Yep, we are not getting enough copper down this line. Okay, well let's go ahead and take care of that. It's probably just a, a, a miner has run out, or I just need more miners. Yeah, one of my miners has run out, and I could probably justify doubling production here. How many miners do I have in my inventory? I have one. I'm not making them upstairs, so... I also need iron plates for these. Eesh. I pick up all this iron. Now how many of these can we make? Eleven seems good to me. I'll just make... I'll make them all. Why not? By the time I get down there, I should have them. Okay, there we go. That should do it for now. It's definitely getting more copper up the up the belt. It's probably not perfectly balanced, but I don't really care enough to <laughs> to make sure it is. As long as it, the the copper is all running and it is, so I think we're good. Okay, let's head back up here. Okay, what is next? Um, we have our robo port. Uh, now we need robots. Robots require everything in the world. They need a uh, where are the robots? Here are the robots. They need a robot frame and advanced circuits, and these guys need a robot frame and regular circuits. Now, where's the robot frames? Well, the robot frames are over here, I think. There they are. Flying robot frames require batteries and engines. So let's work on batteries now. We're going to need batteries. We might as well get them working now. While I'm here, I'm going to drop off. I, I got some picked up some wood. And I think I'll leave the rest here. Might as well, you know what, I'm going to pick this up so I have raw materials on me. I'm also a mildly concerned about these guys. If they attack, they're going to attack down here where I already have turrets. And I'm pretty sure I have turrets on the far side of this thing, so I'm going to check that and make sure. Looks like I don't actually have turrets on the far side of this guy, so I'm going to place a few turrets here. Just to make sure everything is protected. There we go. And... Now what was I doing? Oh yeah, batteries. Okay, batteries take oil. All my oil processing is happening down here. So, we need a chemical plant, I think, to make batteries. Made in a chemical plant. Yep, so let's make ourselves a chemical plant, or three. <laughs> Why not make three? Why make two when you can make three? Let's drop this down and just look at what, what it takes to make a battery here. We need iron plates, copper plates, and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid, how do you make sulfuric acid? Well, you probably make it in a chemical plant. Yes, you do. Sulfuric acid takes sulfur and iron plates and water. Okay, how do you make sulfur? 
<laughs> do you make it in a chemical plant? You do. Good thing I made three then. Sulfur takes water and petroleum. Okay, that we know how to do. Uh, it takes water in one side and petroleum in the other. Um, let's actually check out that factor ratio site. Okay, it looks like um, the correct ratio, the only things that actually uh, require solid stuff is sulfur and batteries. So to make five batteries, I need one sulfur uh, chemical plant. And then everything else takes liquids, which come in, in unit quantities, or these things off the belts, which I don't really care about. So that's obviously the way to go, is we want, we want actually, um, we want five battery factories for one sulfuric acid factory, for one sulfur factory. So that's seven total. And the, the sulfuric acid factory is going to be making more sulfuric acid than we need. So we will just um, probably, we'll, we'll start up a, um, we're going to start uh, the, what is what's it called? The bus um, is going to be getting liquids. So we'll start with that. So five batteries. So we need seven total, five of them batteries. That's, that's the easy way to remember. So let's make seven of these. We made three. So let's just make five more because we're obviously going to need them. Okay. So we are going to start at the bottom of the line with sulfur. And the sulfur is going to go right into the sulfuric acid factory. So where do we want to put that? I think we should I think we should put it over here. I think we should make sure we've got plenty of room. So this guy is going right here and he is going to be making sulfur. We're also going to rotate him. Actually, we're going to rotate him this way. Uh, and I need to hit the Alt key. There we go. Um, okay, and he needs, the annoying thing is he needs water on the bottom and oil on the top. But that's not a terrible deal here. So we're going to run our pipes. Let's go ahead and bring the pipes up top. That's actually perfect. I'm going to run this pipe to here. This pipe can run to here and then under and then not quite to where the pump's going to be which by the way I need to make an offshore pump I think I'll just run regular pipe to there so he's got his water now he's got his oil now he needs his power which is going to be easy to do there we go. And he also needs an output, but we're going to output that directly into a sulfuric acid factory, which needs sulfur and water. So let's put it up here. Yes. And we're going to move this power pole. Sorry, I was thinking for a second there. Sometimes it takes me longer than others. We're going to move this. We're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. And then he's got his water and he just needs sulfur. That's that. And now they need power. So we'll put the power pole here. And now he's going to be making sulfuric acid, which I think we're going to put right into a tank. Um, I want to I want to keep a couple tanks of everything, but not too many, but a couple. Um, so I should when I say a couple, I mean two. So let's uh, right off to the side here. Doesn't need to be special. It can be right here and right here. Uh, we're gonna run. Yeah, we're just gonna run the thing through. And he must be missing something. He needs. Iron. Okay, we got to bring him some iron. Right off of the bus. Where's the bus? There's the bus. When's the next bus? Um, I should be balancing these uh, lines. I'm also going to bring it over here. So we're going to balance the lines, and we're going to bring this off, and we're going to balance them back. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. And then we're going to do this. Bring this down. Oh, that pipe is there. There we go. Uh, okay, I think we can just bring it right to... That's annoying that we're going to have to zigzag. And 
and he needs power. Can I possibly get power to both of these guys with the same machine? There we go. We are getting, making sulfuric acid. Okay. Now we need five of these guys running right off the sulfuric acid, which I think I'm going to take out of here. And I want to leave space. Let's make three. So one, and I'm going to leave a line in between each one, too, for walking. There's our five. And what did we say we're making? Batteries, right? No, not batteries. <laughs> yeah, batteries. Sulfuric acid, iron plates, and copper. Yeah, so sulfuric are batteries. Oops, I hit alt. Right click, left click, left click, left click, left click. We're going to be using a lot of underground pipes here because I want to do something like this. Okay. Mass production. We are we've just produced 10,000 electronic circuits. Good for us. Okay. Actually, I think these guys could be next to each other sometimes, but I'm not going to bother. And I think I'm actually going to move them up a little bit further. We're going to plan this out so that, oh wait, we wanted to do it from here anyway. Okay, we want to do this one. We want at least one of these, right? Then we want a factory here and a factory, no, we want a factory here and a factory here and then here and then we're going to leave a gap and we're going to put one here and one here. I think that's fair. That'll save on pipe as well because we can run this pipe like this and then this one here and then go underground here to here, which will make it easier to walk through. And I really wish that they would drop back where they belonged. And then we can run here to here. You don't need to have both of these, but it's it saves on pipes to, to do it this way. Okay. These guys all got sulfuric acid coming to them. Let's go ahead and make sure they're, they're making batteries. And I've got them backwards. There we go. Now they need iron and copper. This is already bringing iron down. So all we need is copper off of our copper line, which is right here. And we can bring it down right here. So let me run the let me run the line down. It needs to go right like this. Oh my god, I can't click to save my life. There we go. And then underground. And then what he can do is we need these guys to go together here. Can we do that easily? See, they can go on this side. Uh, yeah, this won't work because he's here. We've got to bring it up just a little bit. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that autosave is going to do this. Okay, let's actually... It needs to be here, and then up, and then like this. Okay, and then we need... These guys placing in. Let's just do one on each and see if that is enough. And then we need long ones going out. And we only have four, so let's make uh, one more and then another five just to have them going because we need five total. And then we're going to need a belt bringing batteries back and then heading them up here. And we can power this guy and these guys. Yeah, we're going to need a power pole here. It's kind of ugly, but it'll get the job done. Come on, let me place it. I'm so going to use that. 
I don't care if it's cheating. Okay, now these guys should start making batteries. There we go. Batteries are coming. Let's keep this belt going here. And, uh... Yeah, the problem is I actually want the batteries to go the other way. Is that kosher to, to, to run a... To run a belt backwards along your uh, line here? I think it is. I think we're going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to leave a gap of two here. Yeah, because this is one belt. Then I leave four. Then one, two, three, four. Don't really need this anymore. And then one, two. I'm just going to leave a line of two. So this is going to be the battery bus. Okay, which is going to go... There we go. And then the battery bus is going to go like this to... Of course he doesn't. Battery bus is actually going to have trouble with that, isn't it? Okay, let's run the battery bus one down. So we can go to here, to here. Pick these up and put them back down where they belong. So that's going to be the battery bus, and then we're just going to put placeholders here. Then, I'm going to run it like that, and then the batteries are going to be going that way. Because we're also going to run the bus this way in case we need it that way. I think we also need to balance the batteries before we do anything. Which means copper needs to go underground a little bit farther. And we need this here. And then this guy's going to turn this way, this way, and this way. And then this guy's going to go forward and then turn right. And then this guy's going to go under the whole thing to there. And we are, this is a problem. We are not actually splitting iron off the way I want to. So let's go ahead and fix that with the splitter here. And here. That way he'll split off both sides and we are now out of iron. Oh no, we're not. I just did <laughs> I cut it off and then decided I didn't need to cut it off. Oops, that was my bad. Might not have even needed to fix this, but it was ugly anyway. It still is, but at least it's now functionally ugly. So batteries are being balanced now and they're coming down this line balanced. Uh, are we seriously almost out of iron or belts again. We are. Let's just place the belts we have and then we'll run back here and get some more. The thing is is I want to I want to build robots on the other side of all my of all my burners here because we're going to be clearing this whole thing out and I think I'm going to be I'm going to be devoting this to more um, to more furnaces which is going to make the batteries kind of hard to get over there. But uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll not put furnaces here. Maybe we'll we'll push them up here or something. I don't know. But we need more belts. Always with the more belts. Uh, do we need more of these? Might as well take a stack, right? Uh, is it shift? Yeah, shift takes a stack. And then control. We'll just take all of them. Why not? One reason why not is it's going to eat up a lot of iron. But iron is one thing we are not currently running low on. Okay. So heedless of the fact that there's a big factory uh, or a big furnace factory coming up here. Now, what are we going to do about this? Can't run it under. Got to run it around. I think we're going to do the same thing we did here, which is push it back a little bit. 
It's ugly, but it's functional. And yeah, I think we're not going to be making any more. Uh, we're not going to be making any more furnaces on this side. After this stone one, so I think we can uh, safely just bring this out a couple, bring it up here, and then start a new line of buses right here. And I think this is fine. And this is a nice wide open area for our for our first robot factory, which I for one am excited to make. Okay, now what do you need to make robots? You need to not have the thing there. Let's just place it right here for now. Okay, obviously we need robot frames. That's that's a, a big major part of robots. So we need electronic engine units. Electronic engine units need, need engine units and circuits and lubricant. Uh, engine units, we can make engine units. So I need to look up the ratios, but I think we need to, we know all this. I think I'm going to actually end the episode here. Um, when I come back, I'm going to have that factor ratio site up, and I'm going to show you uh, the the ratios that I'm going to use. And I'm also going to um, fix some stuff up here. Oh, this got attacked. Let's go ahead and fix this guy. There we go. And let's give him a couple more turrets, shall we? Uh, let's just put one here and one here. Come on. Let's right click. There we go. And then the other ones can go in here. Okay, there you go. So now we've got enough turrets here. We're obviously going to have to place some turrets down here for protection as well. Although I think that they were possibly... Oh, it looks like we got a new thing. Tell you what, I'm going to go kill these guys. Although I don't have any bullets on me. Let's kill these guys and then I'll bid you adieu. Because you didn't see me. Oh, that sucks that you can't walk through there. Uh, oh, my bullets are down here. Let's take all these bullets. Um, how many turrets do we have? We have none. None turrets. I should be making the turrets near the bullets. Factory 3.0, or is it 2.0? I think this is factory 1.0. We definitely don't need 50 turrets. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. Yeah, Factory 3.0 starts next episode as we start uh, building robots and then um, using those robots to make a better factory is the idea. So let's get stuck behind this turret again. Okay, this tree's got to go. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, uh, it's hard to see, but they're over to the right of this. Oh, and they're attacking, or they're, they're getting ready to attack. So let's head them off at the pass here. Um, we need to get you guys off of here. We need our turrets here and then bullets here. I think they might have actually attacked already. Nope, they're just, they're gear, they're still gearing up. Okay, let's make our stand right here to this rock. In case they come. Okay, then we're going to go up here. Hey, guys, what's up? Okay, then we're going to go up to this rock. Oh, maybe not yet. We're going to go back and get this guy because he's not useful anymore. It's nice to keep the to keep one of the ones in the back because he'll protect the one in the front. See, and I'm keeping these guys in their in their circle. And then now I can go get this guy. And then if any get to him, the other one can shoot him. Yeah, if I hit four, it puts it it puts it back where I picked it up, but if I try to drop it, it doesn't. Oh come on, let me drop it. Ok, 
Okay, we've destroyed that one. See, and they're doing the killing while I'm placing. That's division of labor here. Um, and then we're going to hit four to bring up one more turret. Put it right there. And then that'll take care of them. We win. No worms at this base, so it was much easier. In the old versions, I would have dropped a victory pole, but they don't actually help here. This is very shiny. Like, makes me think there's diamonds in there or something. But Okay, well, we've taken care of that, so I am now going to bid you adieu. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I hope you're looking forward to robots. I know I am. I'm HMV, and I will. As always, talk at you later.